You need to be understanding and meet people where they're at and be respectful. Um, I think a lot of people here have the patience and just to be with people and to, to move slowly towards a better outcome. It's breaking the stigma of mental health issues. It's understanding that the people are just people. It's letting everyone know that everyone wants to be treated like a person. It's letting our members know they're not their diagnosis. We all genuinely care about each other. Interns to managers, it doesn't matter. If somebody needs something, everybody steps up. So it's, I can count on them. I know not just professionally, but personally as well. I can't say enough good things about the people I work with because we all get along and we're all on the same page. We're all very passionate about what we do. It's, it's almost like, oh, I found, I found my home. I found like the right place for me. As a team, we work really closely together. So we know how to ask each other for help. If, if I'm having a bad day and I need help from my other staff, I can share with them where I'm at. Or I can say, hey, I need this from you or a little more of that from you. The, the great thing about our program is that members and staff work together. It's designed so that there aren't enough staff to completely run things because then it wouldn't be clubhouse. We have to work together to achieve our goals together. Over the years that I've been here, I'm amazing people that I've worked with. And the fact that in the same building you can talk to someone about case management for someone or a psychiatrist about medications to um, developmentally disabled individuals. Um, we don't have to leave our building to have resources right here. Well, we pretty much work as a team. So if there's a crisis or something, we can always call one each other. Between ourselves plus with the client, we all work together and everything seems to run smooth then. And since it's a, a new program, um, they're very open to ideas and the ability to grow. Um, I think the program has been very successful so, so far. I've never loved a job like, like this before. Um, you know, it's kind of cliche, but working at North Central Healthcare, it's not just rewarding, it's inspiring. Um, what we do really matters, you know, to the people we serve and to the community as a whole. I'm here to serve them. The joy that comes from that. Some people think it's strange. Oh, you have to get away from job. Yeah, I do, but still I'm enjoying it. So the best part of my job is I'm getting paid for something I enjoy. <laughs> you know, the other piece of not just the approaches to dementia care is the culture piece. Um, and that's something we've really worked on here the last probably eight to ten years is, you know, what does our culture look like? And um, one of the things that we started is um, I really liked the book um, Jim Collins' Good to Great. So we took his bus analogy and we applied it to everything on, we do here on the Legacies units, like the recreational CNA. It was people who were you know, just outgoing and bubbly, and they were great CNAs, but then when you put them in activities, it was like they just flourished. Or our spa program, so they're spa CNAs, but it was people who, you, know, you knew them when you saw them come in the door, they were always the girls with the makeup and their hair was done, even if they had to get up at 4.30 and do it, and they just made wonderful spa CNAs. You know, they were great CNAs, but then when you put them in a position where they got to do other people's hair and nails, they just flourished. So we started really to focus on getting the right people on the bus. To me, that's important, you know, that people can live on their own and do what they basically want. Because I'm there for them, you know, make them happy, make them, make their lives easier. And plus it makes me happy if they're happy. Every day I come and the residents are looking forward to spend some time with me. When I'm not here, they say, how come you are not here? Or when I'm gone, I feel like I want to be here. And when I want to punch out, I want to leave work, I don't really want to leave. I enjoy being with them too. You know, one of, our, one of our CNAs who used to work here wrote a book and he boils it down and he says, you know what it is, it's basic human kindness. You know, it's not about understanding how someone's brain functions, it's understanding that my heart is fully working and so is yours, so we can connect. It's, it's hard for a lot of 
people. A lot of our members have been beaten down by by employers, by their family, by uh, relationships that have gone south. So to just let people know that there's hope for their future and that they can rebuild those kind of relationships and find themselves working again. That you don't have to be afraid of, of what you might consider a mental health issue. Um, there are answers out there, there's support. You can get help um, and you can feel better.